Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play the guitar solo from the classic Van Halen song, Light Up the Sky, off of Van Halen 2. Now, like we normally do with Van Halen songs, we're going to tune our guitars down one half step. So E becomes E flat, A becomes A flat, D becomes D flat, etc. You know the drill. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is play the entire solo for you slowly with the tabs on the screen. That way the more advanced players can get through this more quickly. And then after that, I'll break it down into bite-sized pieces. Let's go. Okay, here's section one at normal and then slow speed. We'll break it up into two boxes, and in the first one we play this. So basically what you're doing here is you're playing the 15th fret of the high E along with the 15th fret of the B string together, but you're bending up the B string a full step. Now you're gonna play that again, but the second time, when you're holding both of those notes, you're gonna hit the E string at the 15th fret again, like this. And then finally you do that original uh, phrase again. Okay, let's play that box again, the first box. Then in the second box, we play this. Let me slow that down for you. So what we're doing here is we're playing the 15th fret of the high E, and then the 15th fret of the B bent up one step, but it's already pre-bent from the last uh, box, okay, like this. Then the final thing we do in that second box is this. So what you're going to do is play the 15th fret of the high E with the 15th fret of the B string, bending up that B string a full step, bring it back down, and then slide down. However, the one little trick to that if you want to get the phrasing just right, is when you bend up that B string note, you're already halfway up before you hit the note, okay? Now, if you wanted to start that bend from the bottom and not start it halfway up, that's totally fine. Most people won't notice the difference. All right, let's play that second box again. Now let's tie both of those boxes together and play section one one more time at slow and then normal speed. Okay, let's move on to section two. Here's section two at normal and then slow speed. <laughs> okay, so first box, we're gonna do this. Let me slow that down for you. So we're playing third fret of B, hammer on to five, and then hold it for a tiny bit, then pull off to three, pull off to zero. Then we're gonna play the second fret of the G string, quickly bend it up a half step, and then bring the whammy bar down after that. Let's play that first box one more time. So in the second box, we do this. So what we're doing here is we, we've already got the whammy bar pulled down from the first box, right? After we did that. 
Okay, so while you're down there, you're hitting the open E string. Um, I just do it like this. And then bringing the note up a little bit and then back down. And then while you've got the whammy bar back down again, and the note's all flubby and just flapping in the mud there, you're gonna hit that open E string again. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's tie those two boxes together and play section two one more time at slow and then normal speed. All right, let's move on to section three. Here's section three at normal and then slow speed. Now, we're going to break this one up into five boxes, and the first one... <laughs> now, you'll notice that the way I've tabbed it out, I've tabbed out every single note, okay? Oftentimes when we do tremolo picking, I won't tab every note. I'll just show the little tremolo picking symbol and then say, you know, feel it. I think you should do that with this one, too. Don't get hung up on counting how many times you play that 10th fret. Just go with what feels right. You know, just go with what feels right when you string it all together. Then the second box. So now you're playing 12th fret four times, and then after the fourth time you pull off to nine and then zero. Then in the third box. So that's, you know, you're playing 15th fret a couple times before pulling off to 12 and then zero. Then you're doing it up here. So that 17th fret, of the high E a couple times and then pull off to 14, pull off to zero. And then finally, so that's the 20th fret three times followed by the 15th slide down. Now again, when, you, when you're practicing this, I wouldn't get hung up on how many times you're picking the notes. Just go with what feels right, okay? Here's the section one more time at slow and then normal speed. All right, let's move on to section four. Here's section four at normal and then slow speed. So you start off by sliding up to the 13th fret of the G string. It's not a pick note, but you can pick it if you want. Followed by 12 on high E. Then the 15th fret of the B string, bend up and down, pull off the 12, hammer on back to 15. And then that 15th fret note that you just hammered onto, um, you're gonna hold that while you whammy bar dip down about one and a half steps. Okay. And then pull off to 12. And then the subsequent whammy bar dips. All right, let's play section four one more time at slow and then normal speed. Okay, let's move on to section five. Here's section five at normal and then slow speed. So we'll break it up into three boxes and in the first we play this. Let me slow that down for you. Now that little rake at the beginning, up to the high E, followed by the open G, that happens really quickly. You can even skip the rake if you want, um, but those notes are in there. And then second fret of the G string, bend up roughly three quarters of a step, hold it for a little bit, slowly bring it down, and then pull off to open G. Now I tab that as a three quarter step bend. <laughs> you could go up a half a step or a full step, it just sounds, like he went a little bit sharp of a half step there, or flat of a full. It sounds right somewhere in between, but either way you should be fine as long as you're somewhere in that vicinity. Then in the second box we play this. So it's a second fret of G with a pinch harmonic, and then add some whammy bar dips like this. 
and then pull off to the open G. Here's that box again. Then in the final box, we play this. So it's a sixth fret of the G string with a slight pinch harmonic, bend up a half a step. And then while you're holding that bent note, you're gonna dip the whammy bar down uh, one and a half steps. So it's like you start off with this note and end up here. And then slide the note up. <laughs> All right, let's tie those three boxes together and play section five one more time at slow and then normal speed. All right, let's move on to section six. Okay, here's section six at normal and then slow speed. So let's break that up into three boxes. And in the first, we do this. So it's 12 on high E followed by 12 on B. And then 15B, 12E, so far. Then we play the 15th fret of the B string twice. And on the second time, we bend up, down, up. Now I could have tabbed that bending as like a bend up with wide vibrato, uh, but I thought it made more sense for the lesson to tab it this way, especially when you're practicing slowly. Here's that first box again. Then in the second box. So it's 12 on high E followed by 12 on B, 15 on B. And then the same pattern again, so far. And then 15 of the B string, bend up, down, up, down, up. Okay. Here's that second box again. Then in the final box. So it's 12 on E and then 12 on B and then 15 on B, 12 on high E together, and then 12 on high E, so far. Now, with that um, grouping of 15 on B and 12 on E, if you wanna just play the B string like this, you can, but when I slow it down and listen to the, uh, the original guitar track isolated, I can hear him blend those two notes. And then finally, we end that box with the 15th fret uh, B string bending like this. So you're bending up, holding it for a little bit, coming down, back up, down, up. <laughs> okay, let's tie those three boxes together and play section six one more time at slow and then normal speed. All right, let's move on to section seven, the final section. All right, here's section seven at normal and then slow speed. So first you start by playing fifth fret of B, seventh fret of G, bending up the G string a full step. Then doing the same at eight of B and 10 of G. And then again at 12 of B, 14 of G. And then finally, 15 of B and 12 of high E. All right, let's play section seven one more time at slow and then normal speed. All right, that was my video showing you how to play the guitar solo from Van Halen's classic, Light Up the Sky. If you found it helpful or informative, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And please hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will attempt to answer them as time allows. Until next time, rock on.